Hey, baby. I'm back home from work. How was your day? You look like you had a long work day. Poor thing. You look so stressed. Don't worry. I think I can make you feel a bit better. I really hope so, at the very least. How I am? Well, my day went amazingly, but before you talk about it, Mmm, come here. I want to give you a hug. Maybe I can rub your shoulders a bit. Seem tense. You really should think of spending some time off. You're overworking yourself. Here, let me rub your shoulders. Let me know if this is too much pressure, okay? I'm just trying to work out this knot. Your shoulders feel so nice, though. I swear, you need to take some time off sometime. Maybe you can take the day off tomorrow so we can celebrate? We, we can celebrate what I'm going to be talking about later. Or how amazing you are. <laughs> Better. I did my best to get that knot out. I sincerely hoped it helped you. You deserve nothing but the best, honey. <laughs> mm. That's great. I'm so glad that I could help you out a little. Anytime you want me to rub your shoulders or massage you, I'm happy to help. You don't need to worry about massaging my shoulders right now. We can worry about other things, okay? My first priority is you right now. So we can worry about me after there's a cute little smile on your face again. Mm. Anyways, honey, I missed you so much today. I missed your warmth, your voice, just how amazing you are. I'm so glad that you're home. I would have been really worried if you weren't. Who knows what can happen when you go out? Someone could take you, hurt you, or even kill you. Just imagining if you never came home, it really scares me. I can't help it. Hmm. I know that may have sounded clingy. Sorry, I just love you so much. I can't imagine what would happen if you got hurt. I don't know what I'd do to myself. Sorry, I should stop worrying about it. I know your work can get pretty demanding sometimes, so it's not out of question. I'm really happy you got home safely. I know how bad some others driving on the road can be. I really wish that you didn't have to go to the work the hours that you do. But... I do have some amazing news. Do you want to hear what happened at my job? I really think this may brighten up your day. Okay, okay. So, I got a massive promotion from my job, and my paycheck is immense. I'll be making so much money, you won't need to work, so you don't have to. I'm really excited to work and be able to support you. I know how much you hated working at your job, so you don't have to work there. If you would like to, of course. No pressure to quit or anything at all. But I would really love for you to be happy. I just know how stressed out you get from your boss yelling at you, and your co-workers not pulling their weight. And if you wanted, you can stay at home and not worry about working. Sorry, I just am excited to be able to help you if I can. My new paycheck will be enough to cover all the bills and have some spare money to save up for emergencies. I understand if you still want to work your job, and I'm happy to listen and support you on that decision. But if it ever gets too much, I'm here for you to fall back on. My hours should be shifting a bit. 
but I'm able to cover some overtime if our savings ever get low. If you ever want me to re rearrange my schedule, please let me know. I'd be happy to work nights or on different days if we can spend some time together. <laughs> I'm happy to rearrange my schedule any time, so me and you can have more quality time. I miss how much it was when we were first together and being really connected to each other. I know we both have been busy with work lately, but I want to prioritize us. You certainly deserve to have some time off and be happy. I also really missed us. With us both working a lot, it's difficult to set time aside so we can focus on our relationship. So, can we please have some time together again? I really miss it. Sorry, um, anyways. <laughs> I did get some gifts for you on my way home. It's nothing too expensive, don't worry. So, I got you a shirt and a necklace. I hope you like them, sweetie. I bought them especially in mind for you. First is the shirt. I figured I'd get it in your favorite color. You should try it on for me. I really think you look amazing in it. I want to make sure these fit, so... If you don't mind, could you put it on for me? Uh, thank you so much, sweetheart. If the shirt doesn't fit, I can always get another size. Same goes for the other gift. I highly doubt the necklace won't fit, though. <laughs> I can turn away as you put them on so you don't feel uncomfortable. You can take as long as you need to. No rush at all. Okay. I promise I won't peek. Tell me when you're ready. I'll just hum to myself until you say you're ready. Can I look? Are you done changing yet? No pressure if you aren't done. Okay, great. I'm gonna turn around to look now. I was absolutely right. You look so cute in it. It fits you especially well. I insist you keep it. It looks great. <laughs> No need to feel bad about any of my gifts. I love to spoil my baby. I can't really help but to spoil someone as adorable as you. So, other than that shirt, I got you a cute necklace you can wear all the time. You know, to show the world you're mine, obviously. <laughs> Sorry, was that too much? I just really, really love you. I wouldn't want to ever lose you. So I want to do everything I can to have little things to show how much you are mine. I just love the idea of it. I hope you don't mind. Here, the class for the necklace looks a bit difficult. So how about if I handle it for you? Here, turn around. I can put it on for you. Just stand still and... There you go. It's on you. Let me see how it looks. Hmm. Oh my goodness, it looks perfect. The necklace looks absolutely amazing on you. I swear, it was made for you. It suits you that well. I might have maybe got it custom made, maybe, maybe not. You'll never know. 
Mmm, come here, honey. I haven't held you in more than five minutes. I want another hug from you, pretty, pretty, please. Mmm, 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 mmm. I needed this. I really did. I missed you so much. Mmm. I love your face, your eyes, your cute nose, your hair. Just all of you. No matter how you view yourself, in my eyes, you are perfect. And you will always be. No matter how you change. No matter how you look. You'll always be you. And that's why I love you. Every day when I wake up and see your face, I just want to smother you with so many kisses. <clears throat> because when you're asleep, you look so adorable. And I love listening to you all passed out in the morning. I know sometimes you might wake up in a, in a bad mood or have a bad day. But I'm always here to support you. I'm always here to hug you. I'm always here to love you. I'd never, ever dream of leaving someone as great as you. You are everything I could ever want and more in a lover. No one could ever take you from me because you are all I could ever need. Never forget that I love you. No one else, honey. <laughs> Sorry. I just can't help but to show you how much I truly do care for you. I don't want you to ever forget that. I'm sorry that we've been a little distant, and we haven't had time to rekindle this love we had for each other, but I hope with this new schedule we can be get back to how it was. To love, to be here for each other, to walk, talk openly, just be how I really want it to be again. Speaking of open, can I please say something? Okay. Um, I'm just a bit, you know, scared. It may seem like weird to say, but I know you've been distant from me. I'm really worried about it. I think things like, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe you don't love me as much anymore. Maybe I'm boring you and... Yeah. It's been on my mind so much. That's why I've been doing so much more at work. So maybe I could get a promotion for you. So you don't have to worry about your demanding job anymore. I just want to be a girlfriend that deserves you. So I really hope that you see how much I've been trying for you. I certainly have seen how hard you've been working. And you definitely deserve a break. You've worked this hard already. So you should please take time off. I hate seeing you push yourself as hard as you do. At least promise me if you still do work. You don't work overtime, and try to keep your schedule light so you don't overwhelm yourself. Please, baby, it's at least something so you don't have to worry as much stress. It'll be good for you. You really promise? Yay, <laughs> that settles it. We are definitely celebrating tomorrow. We'll celebrate my new raise and you not working as much. I'm so excited, sweetheart. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, can I borrow your phone to make reservations at the restaurant? My phone is dead right now, and I don't want to lose our spot. It is a popular restaurant, and you do need to freshen up from work. So I can handle that. Does it sound good? <laughs> Okay, baby, have a nice shower. I love you. Spend as long as you like, and you can even take a bath. Have fun, okay? I'm gonna go make the reservations. See you later, sweetheart. 